Sí, ya. This, as far as I'm aware, is Hove's only lap dancing club. So uh, Brighton offers all sorts. Very naughty. Okay. Well, this is a video blog because we're doing this series of films about Brighton. And um, it occurred to me that because what we're focusing on is my perspective of Brighton, um, I've always loved Brighton because it's full of colourful characters, people who don't necessarily dress fashionably, don't necessarily have a sex appeal in the media sense, or, you know, look mainstream. And it occurred to me that some people on the internet might laugh at them in a cruel way. And, uh, I just wanted to say, you should accept people, the, the, any way they dress. Um, people have been laughing at me all, almost all my life. I can see people laugh at me in the street, just the way I dress, the fact I'm eccentric, the fact I say things that I probably shouldn't. Um, and it's wrong to laugh at people because they're a bit different, because they don't fit. And, Something else I've noticed about going around Brighton, because I don't actually go around central Brighton that often, is that there are a lot of posh cafes, a lot, and a lot of very sort of um, trendy, attractive looking people who frequent these cafes and they sit outside in the sun and they're ordering very expensive food and served by quite glamorous waitresses and that sort of thing. That's great. There's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> But the, uh, to live in Brighton and survive, it's a very expensive town. Really, really expensive. And we're not all tourists. We can't all afford the parking tickets. We can't all afford the bus. We can't all afford to eat in those restaurants. And what we're trying to do, or what I'm trying to do, is direct Graham towards the real people who've lived here for years and years. Um, and the real Brighton, rather than sort of the posy side of Brighton. And I wouldn't like to think that anybody that we've filmed is being laughed at. It's, it's fine to laugh at me, because like I said, I've been laughed at a lot. The uh, national press has had a bloody good laugh, and so have most of the people locally. They've all thought, prat. That's sort of what I've gone down in history as. Um, and I don't care, because I see a girl on the street and I give her a fiver and she thinks she's won lottery and then I look in an estate agent's window, £650,000 for a two-bedroom flat, bargain. I think, joking, you're having a laugh. What, it's such different worlds. Money doesn't mean anything.